So yeah, dyno day tomorrow. How much power will my Volvo have lost 462,463 miles later? I think that's performed incredibly well for the mileage and age, incredibly well. So then here we are at Performance Remap. I'm gonna go have a chat with Chris and find out what the dyno is all about, see what Chris does and see if he can help me with some of the issues with my Volvo. But most importantly, we all wanna know what the number is. How much horsepower has it got after 462,000 miles? Yeah, so I'm Chris, um, I am Performance Remap here. Um, we tune cars, primarily German cars, um, a lot of vans and we got our four-wheel drive rolling road there. Got you. Which we're gonna be testing your car on in a minute. We are. So being four-wheel drive then, that's, uh, it's all adjustable. So you can do different wheelbases. You and can do any wheelbase. Yeah. It's got a mechanical link system in there. Yeah. So we can make the front and rear rollers turn at the same speed. Yeah. Which is needed for a lot of modern four-wheel drives like BMW X drives. Yeah. You, you've got to have everything synchronized and running the same speed. Yeah. So you're remapping a lot of modern stuff and yeah. what's your sort of um, bread and butter? Who's your bread and butter customer? What do they come to you for? Uh, mostly BMW and Volkswagen Group car tuning. Yeah. Uh, Diesel, petrol? Both. I'd say probably 60 70 percent of diesel yeah so that's probably because 60 70 percent of cars on the road are diesel yes yeah yes. yeah yeah so if i came to you with something like a bmw 320 diesel yeah um well what sort of thing would you be looking to do with it yeah most of the time we're just stage one tuning it yeah um and on the modern ones you get you get good power gains you know you gain a sort of 45 50 horsepower yeah. And 80, 90 newton meters of torque, so it makes a phenomenal difference. And that's basically just by just telling the ECU to do different things with yeah. fueling and timing. Exactly. Got you. Fueling, boost pressures, torque limiters, that sort of thing. Well, well, I suspect there's some boost issues with the car. I think there's some vacuum issues. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, because it doesn't seem to be boosting fully, but yeah. I think we can... Well, we should be able we'll to check that from the power pivot alone. Yeah, okay. It well, it's 222 from the factory. Yeah. I've had everybody on YouTube and on Facebook guessing, yeah. and I've had everything from at least seven yeah. to someone telling me it's going to be 418 yeah so um even if it's down on boost it should be running if it had no boost it should be 150 horsepower i'd like 180 yeah i think if if we can get 180 yeah, then I'll, nice. I'll be happy anything above that is a yeah. bonus and if it gets 215 then ian from cherished vehicle insurance <laughs> services has to buy me lunch i like that, I like that. <laughs> so let's find out yeah so here is the, this is the rollers, that's the rear, that's the front. You can see there's adjustability uh, at the back there, so that can go further back for different wheelbases. So essentially, we're gonna drive the car onto these rollers. We're gonna adjust the rollers to the size of the wheels, I guess? Yes. Yep. Do two wheel drives? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then you're gonna strap it down and then? Yeah, strap it down and do some runs. And then um, ideally for YouTube, we'll have one of those things where all of the pistons shoot out through the top of the engine and we go viral. It's possible, but very unlikely. Um, we're going to be running it in inertia mode without lots of load. Yeah. Um, so we're not basically going to pull the car on, floor it from flat and... We're going to be flooring it from sort of 900 RPM right up to the rev limiter. So we're probably but going to drive more sensibly on the rollers than I did on the way we're here. We're going to be putting less load on it than you would be on the road doing it. Um, so I'm probably going to do a fourth or fifth gear pull on that. We'll have a look. Um, and when I'm when I'm driving on there, we're not pushing the wind at 100 yeah. mile an hour like you would be on the road. So you'd be more likely to blow up on the on the tarmac doing it than you would here. Well, I've tried quite hard in the last two days to break the car yeah. prior to doing this. Yeah. So hopefully we're going to be okay. I so. suspect you'll be okay. But we'll yeah. See. And the other thing Chris just said to me is don't put your hand in the fan. So that's a gigantic rotating blade fan. Yeah. That's another thing that would be good for YouTube. Yeah, don't put your hand in there. <laughs> Different sort of website for those videos. Yeah. Chris just fired up the fan and it is terrifying. Basically, there's no dust in this unit because it all gets blown out the door. So all the oil that we found on the underside of the Volvo is going to be on the front of that white van in about half an hour's time. So it's a, it's a high power air blast clean off for the Volvo.
So that is all done. So yeah. just talk me through what we just did then. We did a few different so runs. We done a, uh, several runs on the rolling road, um, got it set up or scrapped down, etc., um, to power test it. Um, these are the best two runs that we've done. Um, and the, the, the highest run it's done is basically 196 horsepower. 196. Which isn't bad considering the age of it. So that's 196 and then 140 at the wheel. Yeah, 140 at the wheels. Um, what we do when we're measuring it, it measures the wheel power yeah. on the run up when I'm accelerating. Yeah. When I get to maximum RPM, I put the car in neutral. Um, and it me then measures the losses through the transmission. Right, okay. The that's lost for the transmission and the engine. Um, and basically, the wheel power, less the losses, makes your flywheel power up. Got you. So when we say um, lost power, so the power that we're losing between 195 and 140 is disappearing via... It's lost through tyres, all components, yeah. everything that's in the drivetrain. Yeah. yeah, so all yeah. the cogs that were and the different yeah. bits and the teeth and all yeah. of that sort of stuff loses power loses that is power. direct to the wheels. Yes, is correct. there a way of, of narrowing the gap between engine power and wheel power then? Or are we only really looking to... In no, you're only really looking to yeah. increase wheel power. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I can brag down the pub that I have 196 horsepower. Absolutely. Excellent. Yeah. Verified. Verified you got 196 horsepower. Well done, Carl. I tell you what, that was that was a little bit like watching your kids' school sports day. You get used <laughs> to it after a while. <laughs> I was like, I was sat there at the side filming going, go on, go, go on, on, you go can on, do it, a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, it did, it, 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 it did fine. I don't think we got any oil under it. Have a look. I don't know, let's find out. No, it looks pretty clean to be there. Excellent. Yeah, no well, fluids have been lost. So nothing was broken in the making of this video? No, uh, no. Which cool. I didn't think it would be. It's quite rare that stuff does. Good, excellent. Um, well, unfortunately, that means I think I have to buy Ian dinner because it didn't make 215, but I don't think it was ever going to make 215. I think a new one would have made 215-ish. Yeah. Um, when I used to test these years ago, none of them ever made the 225. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Yeah, so we're always a bit enthusiastic with the figures, but... But loss-wise, then, that is... Um, would you say that's performed better or worse than your average high-mileage car? I think that's performed incredibly well for the mileage and age, incredibly well. Incredibly well. Incredibly well. What a fantastic way to finish my yes. video. Well done, Volvo. You did incredibly well. Yeah. What I need to do now is get one of them... Um, you know, there's stickers you have at school for like good yeah. work. Yeah. We need, an, we need, one of them we need a well done well sticker done. to put on the back. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Right, car's out and off the ramp. Um, it has left its mark. So we've got a little spot there, a little spot there, a little, spot a little bit at the back. Um, I think that might be power steering fluid. It's a Volvo 850, so it probably is. Yeah, I think that's power steering fluid. Either that or brake fluid. They love to they they love to lose power steering fluid. Yeah. Um, but considering that, like, I mean, I know that there's a load of crap dripping off the back of that engine anyway, and I haven't cleaned it yet, so yeah. not too bad. And it has just been run up to absolutely full whack. You're doing 160-ish mile now, aren't it? <laughs> Have you had any absolute disasters where this ends up covered? Yes. What What was your worst one? Uh, just a coolant hose going on a car. Oh today. yeah, messy. Emptied the coolant everywhere. Yeah. What is it about this car yeah. that has meant that it's actually performed? And you, I'm going to use yeah, your word, incredibly. It's in performed incredibly well for the age of mileage. It's, it just means that someone's looked after it. When things have gone wrong, they fixed it. Yeah. Um, and they've kept on top of service and things like that. So I think the answer there is buy a good, well maintained car yeah. or maintain your own car very exactly. well. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, the key to making power is maintenance. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible car, he said. He said it did incredibly. Very, very, very good. <laughs> well done. <laughs> good car. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Um, yeah. And just at the end of this video, yeah. I think we've briefly discussed yeah. a Jeff Buys Cars Dino, Dino Day. day. Yeah. So we're thinking um, a Saturday, Sunday? Sunday, probably. Sunday in the summer yeah. when it's warm. Yeah, it'd be nice. Uh, 15 cars. Yeah. 50 quid a car? Yeah. 50 quid a car. Yeah. Um, and I will custom make some well done stickers exactly. for people's cars we'll, we'll have we'll have awards for most power yeah. least power um and many other things yeah. so we'll work that out in the future yeah. so thank you very much for uh taking the time to dino my car yes yeah, she's done well yeah. brilliant jeff buys cars still youtube's most boring car channel